Hi, welcome to today's power flow. For today's practice, you are going to want two blocks and we're gonna start in a reclined position. Taking one of those blocks with you, just so it's within reaching distance. Lower down, soles of the feet press into the mat, knees up towards the sky, hip, shoulder, head, all supported here. Give yourself a few rounds of breath just to settle in first. And then taking that block with you, we'll start by activating the core just a bit. Block comes to rest right where your hips meet your thighs. Then on an inhale, you're gonna press your arms up, sliding the block up towards your knees, shoulder blades off the mat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower. We'll do that for a count of 10. Of course, I'm just marking time, not counting for you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lowering all the way down. Sorry, I started counting in my head. This time, inhale, extend your legs up towards the sky like you're in a waterfall shape. This, you are welcome to use the block or not use the block. Totally your choice. On an inhale, Lift the block up towards your feet, holding the block with your feet. Exhale, lower your feet down to the mat. Inhale, extend up towards the sky. Block in your hands. Exhale, lower your feet down to the mat without the block. Inhale to lift, block to the feet. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, passing that block. Exhale, lower. Two more rounds here, one with the block, one without. Completing this round, arms lift up towards the sky, legs towards the sky, then lower everything back to the mat. Pulling the knees in towards your chest, give yourself a few rock and rolls here. Making your way to a seat and then working right to tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale to drop your belly and lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, cow, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, cat, round the spine, press away from the mat. Give yourself two more rounds here, working at your pace of breath, keeping that integrity with your core. We'll meet next time you come to a neutral tabletop. Belly button gently pulls away from the mat. Crown of the head reaches forward. Inhale, extend your right leg long behind you. Left arm reaches forward. Exhale here. Inhale, draw knee to elbow. Exhale to extend long. Inhale, knee to elbow. Exhale, extend. Give yourself three more rounds here, working with your pace of breath. Pausing when that's complete with arm and leg extended away from each other. Next breath, hand to the mat, knee to the mat. Other side, inhale, right arm extends forward, left leg back. Exhale here. Inhale, draw knee to elbow. Exhale to extend. Inhale, knee to elbow. Three more rounds, working with your breath. Keeping that core engaged. Pause when arm and leg are extended away from each other after your three rounds. Then hand comes to the mat, knee to the mat. Walk your hands forward about a handprint, tuck your toes, lift your hips for down dog. Inhale to bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale for a half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, arms reach up, adding on. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows graze the ribs. Inhale, up dog, heart pulls through. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, rock forward. 10 count of mountain climbers, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pause and plank, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, Inhale half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up, maybe look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale for Chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. 10 counter mountain climbers here for 10. Nine, whew, I feel like I'm out of breath just from that starting core work. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause and plank, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up, little back bend here if it feels good. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale for up dog, heart lifts. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. 10 counter mountain climbers, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pause and plank, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, chair, hips down and back. Weight is in your heels. 10 count of chair jacks, feet hop out and in. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Pausing in chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hand, step or hop back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale for up dog, heart pulls through. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, sweep right leg to the sky. Exhale, right foot between your hands. Warrior one, back foot comes in and out at 45 degrees. Find your base here. Full breath. Hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, between your hands, warrior one, back foot in and out at 45 degrees, fingertips lift. Full breath here, generous bend in the front knee, hands come to the mat, step back to plank position. Inhale and plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale for a half lift, flat back. 
exhale forward fold inhale chair hips sink down fingertips lift draw your hands to heart center slowing down a bit here but keeping that intensity heels lift off the mat coming to hover on your toes then lowering down for toe stand you might stop right here maybe hips come all the way towards your heels full breath wherever you are then lift back up to chair keeping your heels lifted we're gonna do that twice more like an elevator lowering down just as far as is available in your knees breathe wherever you've paused lifting back up keeping those heels lifted once more lowering down keeping that integrity breath wherever you are then lifting back up heels stay lifted heels lower to the mat arms reach up to the sky straighten your legs hands come to heart center full round of breath here in through the nose out through the mouth inhale arms reach up look up exhale hinge at your hips forward fold inhale a half lift flat back exhale plant your hands step right back to down dog hips stay lifted inhale sweep your right leg up towards the sky exhale right knee to right elbow inhale come back to three-legged dog exhale right knee to left elbow inhale three-legged dog exhale knee to nose cheetah pose pause here inhale drop that right knee to the mat tap it exhale pull it into your chest rounding the spine twice more inhale tap the knee exhale knee to the chest press away from the mat inhale tap the knee exhale knee to the chest press away from the mat inhale back to three-legged dog exhale right foot back to the mat inhale rock forward to plank three rounds of breath in plank crown of the head reaches forward heels press away from you you can always come to plank on the knees if that feels stronger next breath hips up and back inhale other side sweep left leg towards the sky exhale left knee to left elbow inhale back to three-legged dog exhale left knee to right elbow inhale three-legged dog exhale knee to nose cheetah pose inhale tap the mat exhale press away from the mat knee to the chest inhale to tap exhale press away lift the knee inhale to tap last time exhale lift that knee inhale back to three-legged dog exhale foot to the mat inhale bend your knees and look forward exhale step or hop to the top of the mat inhale half lift with airplane arms squeeze the triceps exhale fold forward we'll do that twice more inhale airplane squeeze your triceps exhale forward fold inhale airplane strong flat back exhale forward fold inhale urdhva histhasana root through your feet reach up tall exhale hands to heart center inhale arms reach up extending exhale hinge at your hips forward fold inhale a half lift flat back exhale plant your hands step or hop back to plank inhale in plank exhale chaturanga inhale for up dog exhale hips up and back down dog inhale sweep your right leg towards the sky exhale step it between your hands lift your fingertips for crescent find your base here first pressing that back heel away from you then bringing in crescent lunges we'll lower the back knee to hover and then extend tall working slow and with integrity i'll just count for time we're here for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one pausing with knee lifted hands come to heart center inhale to hinge forward exhale pressing into warrior three 
back foot can hover just above the mat or extend long behind you. We're gonna do 10 count of warrior three pulses. Back heel lifts towards the sky and then lowers just a bit. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend into your front knee, return to crescent. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. 10 count of mountain climbers here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and plank, hips up and back down dog. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands, crescent on this side. Finding your base, keep your core engaged. It's really easy to wanna to press your belly forward. Sorry to lift my sweatshirt to show you that. Press your belly forward, but keep it engaged here like your core is flexed. 10 count of lowering those knees and then lifting here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause with your back knee lifted. Hands come to heart center. Hinge forward, warrior three. Weight pours into that front foot. Find your base. Lifting that back heel and then lowering just a bit here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause here. Bend into your front knee, return to crescent. Hands to the mat, step back to plank. Inhale and plank, 10 count of mountain climbers, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and plank, hips up and back down dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale for a half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. You might wanna take care here that your blocks are towards the top of your mat, um, probably at their lowest setting. You might use them, you might not. Use it as a little breather. Then on an inhale, shift your weight towards your left leg. Right foot comes off the mat. Bent knee, standing balance pose. Toes are flexed, knees at 90 degrees. Then we'll hinge into warrior three. Crown of the head reaches forward, back heel presses away from you. Give yourself a moment here. Then we'll hinge back, coming back to standing balance keeping that foot off the mat if possible. We'll do that twice more. Inhale to your warrior three, taking your time, breathing here. Next inhale, back to standing balance. Breathe here, inhale to warrior three, taking your time, crown of the head reaches forward. This time bring hands back by your hips. 10 count of airplane arm pulses here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause here, hands lower to the mat or those blocks. Start at the blocks here. You can always release them if you'd like to, but allow your upper body to be heavy. We'll bring in some Shiva squats here from standing splits. For Shiva squats, bend your standing knee. Right knee comes to touch left calf. Then extend tall here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one more wherever you are. 
Pause with back heel lifted. Full breath in that standing splits. Right foot comes to meet left, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Give yourself a breath between sides. As you're ready, weight shifts towards that right foot. Left foot comes off the mat, standing balance first. Bend the knee, flex the toes. Inhale to shift, finding warrior three, crown of the head reaches forward, left heel presses back. Inhale, lift back to your standing balance. Exhale here. Inhale, warrior three. Taking your time as you move between. Next round of breath, lifting into standing balance. Last shift. Crown of the head reaches forward. Warrior three, back leg extends long. Hands come back by your hips. 10, count of those airplane arm pulses here for 10, nine, eight. Really engaging the triceps. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands lower to the mat or the blocks. Nose points towards your knee, standing balance. Bring in those Shiva squats. Bend your right knee, left knee taps right calf, then extends long. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and standing balance, back heel lifted. Then left foot comes to the mat, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana or upward salute, extend all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Plant your hands, step back to plank position. Toes or knees, we're going to be here for a moment. Bringing in 10 count of shoulder taps. So right hand lifts off the mat, touches left shoulder, lowers back down. Left hand lifts off the mat, touches right shoulder. Trying to keep our hips level here for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, stay lifted, upper part of a push-up. Lower down to your forearms, keeping your hips lifted. Walk your heels in, dolphin pose. I should say walk your toes in. Hips lifted, forearms press into the mat. I could maybe walk in a little closer, but someone's paws are in my way. Full breath here. Then return to forearm plank. Keeping hips lifted for a moment, then lower all the way to the mat. Whew. Sphinx pose, elbows press into the mat, toes untuck behind you, heart lifts. Give yourself a few full rounds of breath here. Taking your time. Next breath, lower back down and then press back to a child's pose. Knees as wide or as narrow as feels good for you. Knowing sometimes in power flows, child's pose at this point can feel a little hot or claustrophobic. If that's the case, you can always take a seated position if it feels better to have your upper body lifted. We're focusing here on slowing the breath lengthening the side body and low back. So finding a long spine wherever you are. One more breath right where you are. 
as you're ready, walk your hands in and then slide your seat or your feet out from under your seat. <laughs> Extend your legs long. Seated forward fold. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge forward and round forward. Of course, not focusing too much on where our hands land. They can be on your toes, your ankles, your calf, the dog that is in your way next to you. We're focusing mostly on your heart pulling towards your thighs. If it feels good in your low back to bend your knees and take your arms under your knees, you are welcome to use the weight of your legs to pull you into that shape. Whatever works best for you. Breathe here. Next inhale, lifting out of that shape nice and slow. Then we'll make our way down to our back body. Soles of the feet press into the mat. Lowering down, hips, shoulder, head, all supported here. Arms come out to a T or a cactus shape. Shift your hips a bit to the right. Knees fall to the left. Recline supine twist. Giving yourself a few rounds of breath here. Gaze might be over that right shoulder or up towards the sky. One more full round of breath on this side. When that's complete, slowly guide yourself back to center. Then hip shift to the left. Knees fall to the right. Recline supine twist on this other side. Adjusting as you need to. Maybe you gaze over your left shoulder. Your neck might stay at neutral. Or if your hips don't feel comfortable adjusting your low body however you need to. Two full rounds of breath here. When that's complete, draw back to center. Then our last active shape for the day, pulling your knees into your chest, tight yogi hug. Arms wrap around the shins, forehead up towards the knees, squeeze everything. And as you're ready, extend into Shavasana. Legs extend long. Arms hang heavy here. Scanning your body to see where you can release. Allow your body to be heavy and soft here. Soften the belly. Soften the forehead. Allow your breath to settle into a slower rhythm. I'll let you know when it's time to come out. body can remain still 
if it feels good and is available to you today, you are more than welcome to stay in this place of rest. If it's time to close out your practice, start by deepening your breath. Add in gentle movement as it feels good. Wiggle fingers and toes, maybe rock your head side to side. Any movement that intuitively feels good to wake up your body. And when you're ready, guide yourself to a fetal position on either side. Pausing there for just a moment of stillness and quiet with your body. Before you press up to a comfortable, easy seat. Eyes can stay soft or closed. Feeling into these last few moments of practice for some gratitude. You showed up today. You made time for yourself, honored your body with movement and with rest, allowing that to sink in. We'll close with a collective breath. You can exhale to prepare. Inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for being part of this RAD community. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.